Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use TextPlace to organize your AI prompts. Now I have been using TextPlace pretty actively over the last few weeks and as you see here, I have organized all my prompts all the way from YouTube to Instagram to Twitter or X, LinkedIn and article generation. So all of these are folders which have individual snippets which contain AI prompts. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about here and don't know what TextPlace is, I recommend you to come to my video right here called TextPlace Beginners Tutorial so you can understand how how effective TextPlace is. Here I help you get started with TextPlace and show you how you can effectively automate different kinds of tasks which require texts. And prompts are basically just different variations of texts. And you can organize all these pieces of texts in folders so you can use these on AI tools like Cloud or ChatGPT anytime you want. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and recommend you to subscribe to my AI newsletter where I'm soon going to start sending out different kinds of strategies on how to effectively use AI and automation. All right, let's get started. Now, TextPlace has provided a free ChatGPT prompt library where you can import different kinds of ChatGPT prompts or any kind of AI prompts and use them directly as snippets. Now, it's important to mention that prompts and snippets are not exactly the same thing. A snippet is a concept inside TextPlace where you can provide a piece of text which may or may not have parameters such as length and this drop down menu, which can then be imported into an AI tool or any other place where you can import text. A prompt is just a piece of text which will call upon an AI to do a certain task. For example, maybe you are really into culture and you want to travel to different places and find out about their culture and food. So you can use this prompt, which is act as a travel guide and suggest different travel ideas for travel in a specific country. And this is where the ChatGPT prompt becomes a snippet because you can now specify a specific country and that will be imported into the prompt. You can also say, I'm interested in a bunch of things such as this drop down menu, where you have the outdoors, urban areas, rural areas, beaches. So if you select beaches and mountains, now this snippet will be a prompt which will act as a travel guide suggesting travel ideas in a specific country for beaches and mountains. Now to use this, all I do is copy to text place. Here it has pre-specified the shortcut you're going to use and a label. I'm going to say culture travel ideas okay and I'm gonna click Save and there it asks a folder I'm gonna create a new folder called say culture and create snippet and we're gonna see a new folder for culture with this new snippet using this prompt and to test this out I'm gonna use cloud and here I'm gonna say slash travel and just like that you see it asks me to specify a country I'm gonna say Ethiopia and say I'm interested in swimming hiking mountains I'm gonna say urban areas and cities and click insert and just like that my prompt is now inserted using the snippet I'm gonna press enter it says here are some suggested travel ideas for urban areas and cities in Ethiopia. And these are some of the cities that it suggested. But just like that, I can use any of these pre-specified prompts from the Blaze library. But what I'm gonna do is to create this prompt library, I'm gonna find different sources to create my own prompts. For example, I can create my own prompt about food. Say culture, food. I'm going to say food and I'm going to say give me 10 recipes from, from the country mentioned above. Now I can just use this shortcut and say slash food. And just like that, I have 10 recipes from the country specified above, which is Ethiopia. Now, since I can't really travel to Ethiopia right away, but I still want to try out some of their food, how about I search for some recipes? Now, I can create another snippet with a prompt for recipes, but I can also expand my search a little bit more. 
Now, I really like going to this website called Snack Prompt, where I do some research on prompts, get ideas and inspiration. So what I'm going to do is to type recipe. And I have this in the search result called Chef GPT. Let's click on this and see what shows up. Okay, it says Chef GPT, input ingredients and craft a recipe. It asks me to specify a price, but I can actually just go ahead and click zero and click buy now. Now I have a prompt, which it says, hi ChatGPT, I would like you to assist me in creating a few hashtag type of meal recipe options with the ingredients I have available. Please provide me three to five total options. The initial options should not include the recipes themselves, only the recipe title, total cook time, and difficulty level. These should be numbered. We will then ask what option number I would like to begin with, and then next step would be to provide me all the ingredients and measurements. Now this looks like a pretty well-developed prompt. So I'm gonna copy this right here and create a new snippet in this folder called culture. Let's say create snippet. Let's say culture recipes. Have the shortcut as recipes. I'm gonna paste that right here. I'm gonna skip saying hey chat GPT because I'm gonna use cloud. I'm also gonna edit this a little bit. It says I would like you to assist me in creating a few type of meal and I'm gonna remove this right here. Now here I can insert a text field and say cuisine, press insert. Now it says, I would like you to assist me in creating a few cuisine recipe options. And this is where I can specify French or Ethiopian, whatever I like, with the ingredients that I have available. And I'm gonna also remove this section and insert a text field called in ingredients. Okay, I think I have my snippet ready and I can now use this as a prompt back on cloud. I'm gonna say slash recipe, and I'm gonna say Ethiopian, and say my ingredients are, say, fish, potatoes, olive oil, pepper, and let's say okra. Click insert. And you see where I'm going with this. I'm creating this prompt library about culture where I wanna to travel to different places and get ideas for their food and cuisine and, and try out the recipes myself. I'm gonna click enter. All right, I have a few options. Misir what, Doro what. I actually didn't specify chicken. I wonder why it provided me that. That's something on the AI tool. I have spiced okra stew. I can't really pronounce that. Maybe ye beg kick alicha. I don't know if that's correct, but this looks very interesting to me. Spiced okra stew. And that has a difficulty easy in total cook time of 30 minutes. So I'm gonna say three. And just like that, I have the full details of spiced okra stew, Ethiopian style, using the ingredients that I provided. Now, I might actually try this out tonight to see how it is. And if it's good, I might just have to fly to Ethiopia and try out more of their food. But I think you got the idea of how I create my own prompt libraries. And all of these folders are full of such snippets, which are all usable as prompts. Now, I hope that gave you a good idea of how to curate your prompts and organize them in TextPlace. If you do end up signing up for TextPlace, which I highly recommend, I do have a personal link which is mentioned in my description and on the first comment. I hope you got some value from today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.